What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a satellite zoom effect in Premiere Pro. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now the first thing you'll need is Google Earth Pro. Now don't worry, even though it's Pro, it's now 100% free. So as you can see I'm on Google, all I'm going to do is type in Google Earth Pro, as you can see it's right there, and it's the top search here. As you can see, Google Earth Pro for PC or Mac. PC requirements are here on the side. It's 100% free, just agree and download. You'll get this, save, and run it. Just like yes, and it's going to begin to download. After this is done, it will open up. Just like that, it is now opened, and this is what we want. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is zoom out a bit. And now, what you want to do is head over to View. And the things I have checked, make sure you have checked as well. Then you will have the exact same screen as mine. After that, you want to head over to Tools, come to Options, come to Navigation, and where it says Fly to Speed, set it to 0.0900. That is the one I recommend. Of course, you can experiment and play around with these settings. From there, make sure you select Apply and OK. Now, the next thing, we need to come here and search a place that we want to zoom into. So for me, I'm going to use the Empire State Building here. And I'm just going to look, select that, and that's the correct address for the Empire State Building. And we're not going to do anything just yet. The next thing we're going to do is head over to Tools, and select Movie Maker. Now this is what you're going to get. The next thing you want to do where it says Resolution, you can have it at 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 By default, I think it's at 320 by 240 because that is what it was for me. The next thing, you want to select this Advanced button so it has a tick next to it, and select Record as Image Stream. Make sure it's selected as a variable length, and where it says save to, select browse. Come to your desktop and have a new folder. It's vital you have a new folder, otherwise you're going to be spammed with loads of images. So open this folder and name the file, I'm just going to call it Empire State. Select save, and now we are good to go. Make sure you create that folder, otherwise you're going to be spammed with images, literally over a thousand. So we're going to create a movie now. It's already recording, we're going to press the search button up here and now what it's going to do, it's going to slowly zoom in to the Empire State Building. As you can see it is pretty slow, it, uh, by the time we've put it all together it'll probably be about a 50 second video. So right now I'm just going to fast forward all of this. Okay, so as you can see, there is the Empire State Building. Uh, it's still zooming in, but I'm actually going to stop it right here by pressing stop recording. And there we go. Here's the Empire State Building. Now, I'm predicting about 1400 pictures, and we have 1135 pictures, as you can see, all here. And all these images will be combined into one very, very easily using Premiere Pro, so don't worry about it. And now we need to head over to Premiere Pro. Okay, so I have Premiere Pro, I'm going to select a new project and I'm select OK. So where it says import media to start, I'm just going to double click here and here we go. It's already taken us to the Empire State Building folder that we created at the start. And you want to select the first image in this folder. And where it says image sequence, make sure it is checked and then select open. Now it's going to put it all together. As you can see, it's a 45 second video. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into the timeline. And if we come across here, as you can see, it's put it into one, just like that. Very simple to do. Now, you've noticed these black bars on the side, obviously it looks pretty bad, and you notice these watermarks on the bottom right and the bottom. We can get rid of them by scaling it. So we're going to scale this right now. So just left click your video, where it says position, we're going to position this to the center, and then we're going to position it, then we're going to scale it up. So scaling it now, as you can see, and you will have to play around with the settings to find the best part. You can just copy my settings because I've just done it. Just make sure this is in the center here. There we go. So now if we play this through, as you can see, this is from the start. We got rid of the watermark and it's going to play very smoothly. And the background you're seeing is the atmosphere around the universe. And let's just come ahead and skip to it. 
And of course, when you're doing it, you can remove all the names you're seeing. So like New York and all that other stuff that's in the way. You can remove it in Google Earth. I just didn't do it in this video. And just like that, we're zoomed in to the Empire State Building. Now the video you saw at the start of this video is actually this rendered version here. So I'm actually going to render this and put it at the start of this video. Obviously I'll probably shorten it down because I'm not going to have a 45 second intro. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial has helped you and like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.